So that was our big learning that it wasn't the content that we create is really just a starting point. It's the conversation starter. But what's really important to us is this community that we're building. That's nice. And uh, grabe, 8,000 is no, uh, no, it's no joke. And dami nun, right? <laughs> diba? And they're all actively uh, seeking for, you know, inspiration, advice, etc. Uh, how about you, uh, Bianca, Pia? Ano yung mga masishare nyo tungkol dito? Well, absolutely. You like, just, um, it really has been the community that has been the number one reason why we are even trying to go beyond the podcast. Mm-mm. The podcast started the conversation. The podcast helped us grow this community. It helped us, you know, open up a lot of different topics that women really want to talk about. We realize mm-hmm. they really want to talk about it and they want to have, you know, um, they want to bounce off each other ideas and they want to know what would you do what what is the best thing especially young women right now i realized mm. um you mga 20 year olds who are oh. just about to start their you know quote unquote adult lives or prepping for it while they're in college they really want to know what should we do what are the steps that we should take to you know have a, a successful life and kami um you it was so good to see na our older queens, because ang ganda din sa group namin, it's not just you know one age group. We actually have a lot of um, group members who are in the 40s. Um, and they also are able to give such great advice. Na kahit kami yung tatlo, hindi namin mabibigay. At kami, natututo din kami sa kanila. So that's why we launched the queens. Um, we actually have a website now that we launched early this year called the queens.ph uh-huh. and over there we actually upload mga self-help workbooks monthly wow. that the three of us produce so we are already have two up um, we're going to launch another one um march um so our first few topics basically major chronological in the sense that the first workbook was all about yourself why okay. you are an why you are a queen kasi yun yung messaging na na realize namin na kailangan namin ibigay kasi between us queens is the name of the podcast but it Uh-oh. does not refer to the three of us being queens it's the three of us plus all the women no, out me. there who are queens as well uh-huh. so that's why um, our hashtag right now for the queens is we are all queens and we started the first work workbook with just self realizations you know what are your core values what do you stand for and what role do you want to um, have in your community because that's another big thing that a big learning I guess and we want to push it na communities are important and being that's a member true. actually diba nung, nung nag beauty queen nga kayo ganun yun eh diba may advocacy kayo to speak on behalf of some issue and right now inisip nyo ba like ikaw naman Pia na magiging motivational speaker ka pero I mean your story is colorful as well ang dami naman talagang napupulot sa kwento mo at sa mga nangyayari pa sa'yo di ba pero naisip mo ba to be in this kind of uh, headspace para talagang karirin ito uh, it's always been at the back of my mind. Nagahanap lang ako ng venue kung saan ko siya malalabas. Um, and ito na nga yun. So, ang saya because hindi sinasadya. It all happened uh, by accident. That like, dun siya nagsim- it, Like what Carla and Mar said, we started off as a pageant podcast. Mm-hmm. Pero after a year of doing it, na-realize namin na parang bitin. Parang pageants lang ang nalilimit tayo sa pageants lang. So we wanted to talk about life and na-enjoy namin yon. Na sobra namin siyang na-enjoy that we decided na sige wag na pod, uh, wag nang pageant lang. Let's talk about life in general. Pakinggan natin yung community. What do they want to talk about? What are their concerns? What do they want to listen to? And um that's our compass. We listen to what they want and then that's how we know what to do next or which direction to go. Kaya din nabuo yung workbook, kaya din nabuo yung vlog namin. Um, kaya din na, uh, kasi pinapakinggan namin yung gusto nila. Um, being a motivational speaker uh, and that it's ang sarap ng feeling because um, pagka nabigyan ka naman talaga ng platform to share your, you know, your 
thoughts, your knowledge, your opinion on things, your your wisdom. It's uh, ang sarap naman talaga ng feeling lalo na pag nakikita mo na na appreciate talaga ng audience mo and that they're picking up lessons from it. So in here sa the queens um Aside from the three of us, very community-driven din siya. Hindi lang kami yung bida dito, kumbaga. Uh, we also listen to the comments of our listeners, of our viewers. And kasi baka may ma-miss out kami. Uh-huh. Baka may miss out kaming tatlo. Iba-iba naman kasi tayo ng pinagdadaanan. Um, I'm really happy with what we um, built here uh, during the Actually, nung 2020 namin talaga nasimulan to. Um, ang saya. And um, I, I ina-embrace ko na siya na things happen for a reason. This is the direction we're gonna go. Um, we're trying to build a community uh, to empower women. And, you know, we want to be the go-to, um, the go-to big sisters for Filipino women out there. Not only that, no. Alam ko na pakahirap din ng mga topic nyan. Sure, tititing ng lakay ng mga ngayon Miss Universe Philippines ang usapan, de ba? And now, imagine mo ang ganda ng workbook nyo, kasi parang may guide na. Wala yun nopo ng panahon nyo, de ba? Na parang mga mga alam mo yon nuggets of wisdom na susun den. Something that very that is very nakakarelate yung mga sumasaling nyo sa pageant. Now, isa sa mga issue it was the may parang black fishing na naganap. May isang uh, isang a uh, candidate na nagsabing person of color siya pero Asian person of color ba talaga siya pero hindi siya hindi siya kumbaga African American or Afri- of African descent kundi Asian siya uh, how, how do you feel about that if you hear if you hear it from of course no the a person who came from the pageant world and then you are being examples of of good example syempre in the community pag may mga ganito pang klase na nangyayari no sa mga babae kasi pageant is about being who you who you are and then may, may ganito Ooh, I actually don't know all the details about this, mm-mm, mm-mm. but I think that it comes with a lot of pressure. So we mm-hmm. never know where she's coming from. It could mm-hmm. be that she doesn't know the extent of harm that causes if you are uh-huh. claiming to be a different race. So I feel like the way it should be approached is educate her. You know, we can't just see something online and then mm-hmm. outright condemn someone for something that they're doing. Because at the end of the day, you know, the pressure that comes with pageantry does tend to have that effect. Na parang, mm-hmm. ano ba kailang kong gawin? Gagawin ko lahat. So I think that educating her would really be the best way to be able to address something like that. Ikaw, Bianca. Um... Then I, I I have only seen that issue in passing, and mm-hmm. honestly, I again, um, like what Carla said, I I would rather talk to her directly, her motivations behind that, and maybe yeah, educate her on what pageant is supposed to be like. You know, um, like Carla said, kami sanay kami na sinasabihan kami na hindi, kung gusto mo manalo, dapat ganto ka. And maybe, yeah, that's you, pero mas winnable kung ganto ka. You know? And we know, we know that. We know that kind of pressure. And I hope... Yung external pressure. Yeah, yeah. I hope okay. it's nothing like that. And yeah, she needs to be educated, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Ay, Pia? Hindi, hindi, hindi rin kasi ako aware masyado sa background niya and kung uh-uh, uh-uh. nag-a-advise sa kanya and um, actually napag-usapan na namin tatlo to and when I had a look online, I couldn't find her account na rin. So there's uh-uh. no way for me to really find out um, what's going on. But based on the pictures, I think that she just really needs to be guided a little bit more. I mean, not a little bit more. She needs to be guided. And uh-huh. it's really people around her who who have that role of making sure na she is not doing anything that could harm her um, or or hurt her. Especially with social media, napakadali na mag-cancel ng mga tao ngayon. Oh. It just reminds me of this answer that I heard um, when I was uh, judge at Miss South Africa. Tinanong yan yung cancel culture. Oh, oh, oh. Tapos nag-nanalo doon si Lalayla. 
I believe in redemption culture. Na parang dapat ineducate yung girl and or whoever na in, na person na na cancel kung baga. And um, sa akin kasi when tama din yung sinabi ni Carla and ni Mar that there's so much pressure from pageants where you kind of there is a tendency to overthink about how you might stand out in a in a sea of beautiful women. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if this is something that she was already doing before she joined or ngayon lang ba niya naisip gawin to with regards to her styling para mag stand out siya. But um, she needs to be advised better and I I hope that actually uh, nung nakita ko medyo naawa ako kasi uh-huh. masakit ma-cancel eh. Alam oh, mo yun, naman. I'm sure na baka nag-deactivate muna siya ng account kasi hindi ko mahanap so I'm, uh-huh. baka lang deactivate siya ng account and masakit. Alam mo yung mag-isa ka lang tapos iniisip mo yun, ano bang nagawa ko? I guess it's a life lesson na rin, but I think she should take this time to really um, reflect and mga sa mga tao din, let's not be so quick to like dudurugin mo yung tao kasi maling nagawa. Itulungan na lang natin, educate na lang natin. Masakit makancel, masakit na hindi ka pa naman nagiging official candidate in a, or hindi ka pa oh. sumasampas sa stage parang na ano na, na wala na ka na oh. mo. Oh. so parang sa akin baka naman um, baka naman matulungan natin siya wow. well at least yun yung totoong pakay <laughs> ng ano nyo no, ng the queens di ba pero ano 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 foresight nyo para rito and how do you balance it kasi ikaw Carla meron kang sports career Bianca ikaw din di ba you're, you're very active in the media and of course we know Pia in showbiz taping galore travel galore o di ba saan, saan papunta tong the queens para sa inyong tatlo Actually, it was really my savior during the pandemic. Kasi mm-hmm. nawala yung sports for mm-hmm. such a long Uh-oh. time, di ba? Tapos Uh-oh. hindi ko na alam kung makakabalik pa ba ako, ano na ba yung sitwasyon mm-hmm. ng career ko. And then I threw all my energy into building the queens. Uh-huh. And then na-realize ko na parang dito na pala yung passion ko. So that's why I haven't gone back to the PBA because nag-commit oh, oh. na ako dito. Wow. Ito na mm-hmm. yung... Kumbaga, dati ito yung side um, side racket. Not really racket, but side passion project. But then uh-huh. now, I'm really treating it as my main thing. Wow. <laughs> Kasi nga, it takes a lot of time. Um, creating the content does take a lot of time. Um, we're very involved. Hindi kami nag-show up lang and then, you know, we'll, the we're, we're actually involved in writing the content. We're wow. involved in coordinating it. And kami mismo yung nagsusulat ng workbooks, which also takes a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, so it's like a whole ecosystem that we're trying to build here. And sobrang nag enjoy ako, actually. I, I feel like I've found a new dream job in the Wow. Team. Wow. And with your with your best friends pa, I mean, the, I mean, what more could you ask for? Oh, yeah, diba? exactly. <laughs> hey, ikaw, Bianca, how is it for you? Uh, for me, ako kasi matagal na akong, you know, before joining pageants, I was working for an NGO already. And okay. the reason why I joined Binibiling Pilipinas because I was convinced that, you know, if I join, I will be able to really um, push my advocacy, push the NGO I was working for. And in that process, I realized na parang, wait, yes, I love how all of us queens have advocacies um, that they push for. But ako yung naging dream ko was having a platform where we can push all women or everyone to have their own platform. Hindi yung tipong, ito yung advocacy ko eh, so follow me. This is what I want to do, so you should do it too. No. Parang ako, I've always wanted na to help people realize how important it is to have like that kind of Um, responsibility, yung ako in yung ganung responsibility that you should be advocating for something, whatever it may be, whatever your passion may be, yun yun. And I think with the queens, that's kind of the way it's realizing, this is realizing my dream. Now we are pushing women to be themselves, to find themselves, to then focus on, okay, since I know who I am, who can I be in my community? And that's being an advocate. 
whatever you know advocacy they might choose that's being an advocate and um parang ano na rin siya, it, it seems like the, the natural end i guess or the natural flow of what i've wanted to do that's why i'm so happy that we're doing this um it is medyo naging, magiging, it feels like our life's work already you know the kind of legacy i'm so happy with this legacy that we can kind of partake in and it's not just our legacy it's the legacy of the whole community so it, i'm so excited for it and yeah it's it's my main too like i mm-hmm. consider it the one thing that i really want to focus on and work on wow Ikaw, Pia. So, Pia, kasi na-travel ka, di ba? Nag-travel, nag-detaping. She makes time. Bit, bit niya yung mic. I know, I know. You always post about this. You, you know, how do you do it? Like, paano kapag nasa resort or something, may sinititure, ganyan. Paano ka pa nag- Ah, sige, ako lagi nagtatanong. Sorry to cut you there. Nung nagpa-podcast, kaya doon ako nag-iisip nun. Teka, parang, na, parang nagtitaping si Pia. Iniisip ko lagi kasi lagi niya rin pinopromote, di ba? Ang galing lang. So, yun nga. So, please share. Paano? Thank you, MJ. Well, wait lang. Uh, may nakalimutan lang ako indagdag doon sa thought ko kanina tungkol di ko alam yung real name niya kasi nga nawala yung account niya. Oh, yeah. Pero I, ako, in a... Uh, I felt bad kasi I I also thought to myself na baka hindi niya na appreciate yung natural niya. Okay. O kaya kaya na overdone yung styling, quote unquote uh-uh. styling niya. Uh, so maybe there's something there. Baka may pinagdadaanan din siya. That's why I want to advise people to just be a little bit more mindful in how you you know, you talk to the person because you don't know why they even ended up there. Like, what was going through their mind, their heads, like what, we di natin alam yung pinagdadaanan ng mga tao. So I just think that there's more to the story than what we see. So anyway, to answer your question, yeah. uh, tama si Carla, binibit-bit ko yung mga kailangan kong dalin, yung mga mic, ganyan, pag nag-podcast recording kami. And sa akin naman, as long as there's as long as everything is scheduled ahead and then mm-hmm. i can make time for it basta alam ko lang on this day meron tayong recording on that day meron tayong meeting meron tayong um mga gagawin um, with regards to the queen so nagagawan ko na naman siya ng paraan o, o minsan na sa phone minsan na sa laptop but i think when you're committed to something and that you're happy with what you're doing it doesn't matter where you are you're gonna it's not going to feel like work. And it, to me, it doesn't feel like work because I'm I'm with my two best friends and I'm doing something na matagal ko nang gustong gawin. You know, when you're a beauty queen, meron kang, di ba, mga one year yan, pag guys, mm-hmm. best pali, tapos the next year, kung mananalo ka. But then, dun lang ba sa time na nagko-compete kami, dun lang ba kami magkakaroon ng advocacy, dun lang ba kami mag-build ng platform, sayang naman, parang ayo namin ng ganun. That's why we also built this because we want to continue what we started then. We want to we wanna build something where we can, you know, bring in other queens, bring in mm-hmm. other women and say, okay, ikaw naman, anong gusto mong i-share na kwento? Anong matututunan mm-hmm. natin sa experiences mo? O ikaw naman, ganito, ganyan. O Carla, Omar, O Pia. So parang it's like having your own pageant stage and then having everybody the chance to share and have their moment. Ganon. So, yun, but, um, uh, go, go yun, ahead. Yeah, yeah go. Oh, oh. See, Bianca, parang may gusto sabihin. May gusto ka idagdag doon. Yeah, I just wanted to add na we actually tell our community as we build the queens, we do want to take on members from the community, girls mm-hmm. who have been active, women who have been active. So it's really mm-hmm. a collective, you know, you really, we want to give the ownership, not the ownership of the queens is not just the three of us, the ownership is to everyone, to the community talaga. Um, you know, we have so many dreams our, our website we want right now we have the workbooks but eventually you know we want to have articles about women there you know given That's by nice. the community members so yeah. we we just want to magnify um the voice of women basically mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, And, women's month diba? international yeah. women's month go pia MJ, oh. um ano pala, some of the because we, we're still a small group but we've Uh-oh. already um hired some women and 
and women and you know all kinds of yeah. women yeah. in the space so um doon namin kinuha sa community din namin kinuha doon din namin sila nakilala and now they're you know they're part of our team like we hired them yeah. so ano talaga siya community driven we see, we see sa doon kami tumitingin ng mga talent and potential sa community namin Daling no ng mga na-attract ninyo. Pero ito Pia, alam ko hindi ka na rin naman ano no, bago sa mga mga makukulay na nangyayari sa buhay mo. And I know si Kit is one of your good friends. Nag-reach out ka na ba like after what happened to him? Or or talagang totally you you didn't know what 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 happened? Uh I uh, we were able to talk already after what happened and I think yeah, we'll just cuz Yeah. Kailangan, may just, lawyer. May lawyer na involved, syempre. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a very sensitive topic. Um, but he knows how I feel. I've expressed how I feel about it. And, yep, I I hope he's getting good advice. Yeah. You, you gave him good advice? No, uh, I... I am not in the position to give any advice because I'm not a lawyer. Uh-oh. Uh, but yeah, I don't really. Sempre pagdating sa ganyan, ha? Pagdating sa ganyan, sempre talaga alam naman natin kung baga it's it's really uh, a sensitive topic. So let's let the let's let the justice system take its course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But but besides this, we gusto ko lang sana uh, sabihin ano naman yung papel del ng catch ng inyong producers dito? When did they jump in? Were they here like in the beginning of the of the podcast? Or ano yung magiging papel nila now that you guys are expanding? Actually, when we started, we were um, with a podcast, which is Uh-oh. where it all began. Quintuhan and Between Us Queens. So Quintuhan was under Tripod Network. And then Between Us Queens was a Spotify original. But this year, we're transitioning to the Queens. So we have built a company. It's an actual company called the Queen Studios Incorporated. And then V Management Group, Vanya is our manager. So she manages the three of us. And then Catch21 is helping us with our PR campaign. Kaya pala iniwan mo na yung sports. <laughs> Kasi kumpanya na siya. Baka mamay maging party list na kayo ha. Hindi na malayo yan ha. Sinasabi ko sa kanila, sabi ko, you know, like sobrang mahal na mahal ko yung world of sports. Oh, oh, oh. I was there for so long. Pero sabi ko, give me some time because I'm building something that I really, really love and I'm passionate about. So, nakafocus lang talaga ako dito because it takes so much time, so much of my time and effort. Pero... Na ano ko naman yon na express ko do- <laughs> sa TV5 then na uh, that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm sure sports is just there for you. Pero guys, thank you so much for answering my questions. Your two cents. I understand Pia that you don't want to talk about it. Thank you. But thank you still of course for for just, you know, opening, you know, your yourself and syempre no grow your growing community and you know the hard topics are being talked about here i look forward yung podcast nyo every when do you drop it now it's every friday ayan every so friday it's out on spotify yung vlog naman namin comes out every two weeks on the ano queen's to- youtube channel ano ano pa yung mga topic ng vlog o sige aabangan ko na lang yan the Uh-oh. queen's youtube channel <laughs> thank you thank you so much and enjoy guys wherever you are in the world pia and everyone else thank you thank you thank you carlo thank you, thank you guys thank, thank you, you.